Enzo, it's a good Friday early in the morning. So let's go straight to US 30. Please, if you forgot to subscribe, hit that uh, subscribe button. Uh, don't forget to hit also notification so that you don't miss uh, my daily updates. Uh, I also have special guys. Check my description if you really want to get my signals, uh, daily signals for US 30 and NASDAQ uh, on Telegram. Uh, it's only forty dollars. So let's go uh, straight to US thirty. So here you can see we had this uh, resistant, uh, of which now it's a support. So uh, I'm using four hour time frame every day when I do this. I start from a bigger time frame uh, to a smaller time frame. So you can see this. Uh, it was a resistant. Now it was a support. So. The market is going down in the moment then it came again and respected this point if you remember yesterday i said something like this the market was around here and the market oh no i think the market was around here then the market broke this one because this resistant here because it's not that strong and just because this support is very strong you can see let me just throw something so that you can see is from here yeah you can see the strong support here it was a resistant now it's a support so let me go to a smaller time frame mm. on a smaller time frame i'm using one hour you can see still here yeah let me do this you can see from this point this is it's a very strong support when the market reaches this point within few minutes uh the market just rush just touch this th touch here and there's lots of buyers from this point then the market just shoot up when the market come down just shoot up you can see by the candles look at the wicks look look at the tails of the candle you can see from this point the market just came here within second uh, minutes then the market sh shot up even this point so i also spoke about something like this yesterday you can see even here i told people not to sell from this point because if you sell get out very quickly because here we have a strong support so when the market reaches this point it just shot up just shoot you see so but we have a confusing a resistant here which is not very strong you can see that so what do we do from this point it's easy we no longer rely on it actually it's not reliable actually it's not reliable so we have to take it down uh, we can stick to uh, the upper one let, let me remove it so we can stick to one and two so the market just goes one here the market was just consolidating then the market went up if you sold from here you made a nice profit so even if you bought from here obviously you made a nice profit so what do you do from today if the market uh, because it's friday let's see if the market keep dropping or keep do going down I mean keep going up so the best thing that you can do you can combine the trend line and the resistance line so to confirm your buy or your sell throw a trend line that can confirm with whatever that you do you can start from this point to this point so since the US 30 and NASDAQ their value is very high so you don't really need to have like thousand pips or whatever so the best thing that you can do, you can, if maybe the market breaks here, you can see the market is rejecting from this point. So it means we might have another candles, uh, another sell momentum going down like that. So what you can do to, for you to buy, wait for the market to drop. If it does drop, you can buy from this point or you can wait for the market to break here because you can see we had this resistant trend line here so you can wait for the market 
to do something like this to do something like uh, let me see the market is going down now and came here on the resist uh, on the support because the market respected this support it can break this resistant trend line resistant and retest and move up like that so don't get confused by stuff like this most of the time the market respect this point even if them if even if it won't be as perfect as you think but you can see from this point this one won't count it but but you can see there was a resistance the market went down respected this point obviously you're supposed to draw your line from this point to, to this point it will just go down like that if you didn't take from this one obviously you were going to miss it if maybe you wanted to buy obviously maybe you were going to get it here but if you stick to the rules you are going to wait for the market to come here and already you drawn your resistant trend uh, you are done trend as a resistant when it comes here you already have a clue because you saw the market uh, you already drawn your your trend line actually you saw the market when it reaches this point turned this point turned so here you already know what to do if the market rejects you know you just place yourself and even your your stop loss you don't put your stop loss uh, on a, a higher distance or a few pips only then the market will just sell so i don't see the point of you uh, for holding this thing too much you just make your profit then you get out because if your broker is valuing a uh, us 30 indices too much few pips will be on 500 or 200 dollars so i think or is enough for a day or maybe for two hours so here we might have the same thing then but here we're already on the lower level you might not sell from this point then you can just wait for, wait for the breakout then you can have a buy so that's how you can uh, play around with your buy and sell because on this point actually it's easy for us because this thing is just ranging so you can buy and sell so on nasdaq just because the market is still on a upper trend even if the market is going down at the moment but it's advisable only to buy but on a on something like this which is ranging you can sell and you can buy but at the moment it's ranging on a, a bullish momentum if you go to a bigger time frame you can see that when it comes to a bullish it's still going up you can see from here you can see the market is just going up even if it has this things of ranging but the market is still going up so if you want a nice buy you can just wait for the market to break this point you can draw this small resistance then the market should break then you buy if it doesn't happen at the moment you just wait for the market to to break and you buy if it doesn't happen like that we still have a strong support here you should watch out for this because sometimes this thing happens so fast once you check your chart you might find that uh, the market already broke your uh, this resistant and already it's up so check after 30 minutes or after an hour but just now because the market is not open everything is still slow so thank you guys i hope you will take the right decisions on how to place your orders and how to analyze uh, the market please don't forget to hit that notification button and also subscribe thank you guys for watching thank you